G'day, in this video I'm going to talk about the nine times tables and the patterns that you can find in those tables. So let's start off by looking at a group of tens. This of course shows four lots of ten, so we could write a number sentence that says four times ten equals forty, and that's an easy place value idea. Four tens is called forty. Now we can use that to work out a question like four times nine. What would 4 times 9 equal if we know 4 times 10? Well, if there were 9, we would take 1 away from each group of 10. And we can see the 4 that I've removed are here. How many counters are here? We don't want to count them. That would be far too slow. And we're not easily going to be able to recognize this as a number just looking at the filled 10 frames. But we can figure it out. Because we've taken 4 away, and there were 40 altogether, the answer here must be 40 take away 4, which of course is 36. So we could use that for any 9 times number fact. Here's an example, 9 times 7 equals what? Well, if we think of 10 times 7 is 70, and we're going to take away 7 ones, what is 70 take away 7? Of course, the answer is 63, so that will be that answer. So that's the first pattern. Let's look at another one. Let's do a little bit of an experiment. We're going to start by writing the single digit numbers from 0 to 9. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. From 0 to 9 in a vertical column. Next to that, I'm going to write, and you can copy this yourself, we're going to write the numbers in the reverse order, starting with 9. So there's 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Have a close look at the two-digit numbers that I've just made. You'll see that these are the answers to the 9 times table. Or these are the multiples of 9. So we have 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, and so on all the way to 90. So there's a really neat pattern there. The number of tens goes up by one each time. The number of ones goes down by one each time. Look at something else. If we were to add these two digits together, what would we get in each case? Zero plus nine equals nine. One plus eight equals nine. Two plus seven equals nine. Three plus six equals nine. This is true for all these multiples of nine. Now, there are other multiples later on if you're wondering what happens beyond 90. Well, the next one is 99, and the sum of those digits, 9 plus 9, is 18. But 18 is still a multiple of 9, so you'll find that however far you go with the 9 times, they will always be a multiple of 9. But for now, we're just looking at this. Here's another idea using this same pattern, noticing that there are always 9 in the two digits we can use the fingers of our two hands. So put your two hands up like this. Now you need to, I'm going to turn around so you can see my hands from my side. Imagine that these fingers are numbered from one to 10, from left to right. Find the number that you're going to multiply by nine and put that finger down. So I might say nine times seven. Here's finger number seven. There's five here, six, seven. Put that finger down. On this side, I have six fingers. On this side, I have three fingers. Nine times seven equals 63. So there are lots of patterns with the nine times table, and that makes them a lot of fun to learn and really makes them not difficult at all.